A nice deep breath would be good. Focusing on right here, right now. Being in the energy of the weekend, the energy of the day. Just notice how that is around you. Notice that nurturing quality of being with family. Notice that we are in a sacred space that we have created. We are the sacred ones right here, right now. And this isn't the end. We take this with us. And it's the beginning. When you walk out the door, you take that with you. You take it with you, in you, as you, who is changed, who has perhaps had realizations in this love wash, perhaps one who has had aha moments, feeling the love in the room, feeling the love of family, and reawakening your own self-love in perhaps a way that you haven't been ready to feel until now. And as you receive the honoring and the guidance that comes from the love of Cryon, let that be added to you. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Reaching the end of the day in a workshop is different than other times, for you've gotten to know one another. You've discussed perhaps some of the issues that you have. There's more coherence. That word alone means a connection. And whether it's a connection between those parts of your body or whether it's a connection between individuals, you can feel it. It's easier if you feel it than if you define it. Coherence is when you start to understand that there's an energy in the room. The energy loves each of you. The connection is complete when you start to visualize the silver strands of love and compassion of creation that go between each of you and make a puzzle complete. There was a day when my partner started to channel and he was learning and he saw others channeling. He didn't know which method was correct or what to do. He sat in the chair and he shut his eyes like he saw many do in meditation. That was the beginning. Not much took place out of the ordinary until he started doing it in front of larger groups. And energy started to develop around the group, not my partner. As the group developed coherence together, the coherence was the connection between them and that which was the creative source the source of the connection. And that is when my partner decided to open his eyes. He never did it again. <laughs> it distracted him and interrupted the channel. It broke the connection for him because what he saw he was not prepared for. He saw light going between people. He saw colors around people. He saw the process of coherence, compassion, 
connection, love, whatever you want to say. It was too much. My partner says he's not a seer. He does not see energy. But while he is channeling, he does. And he would never open his eyes again because the channeling was interrupted. It was stopped. Because what he saw as a human being, he could not conceive of. It did not relate. It did not compute. And for a few moments, there was even fear. What he got to see was divinity between you. I want you to feel what he saw. And in the feeling of this, a little teaching. The difference truly between an older consciousness and a newer consciousness. Between a time of, of darkness and light. Between that which was before 2012 and now. That is palatable for some of you. And there's a big difference. And part of it is what you are experiencing in the room. Coherence between individuals is much easier. When you drop the barriers and try to feel and see God in each other. Can you sit next to a stranger and know absolutely that you're connected? You're connected because souls are big. They overlap one another. The energy is something that is collective. And you start to feel one another even though you don't know each other. The difference between the old and the new, dear ones, is that there is far more coherence between you and the central source. And what this means is the old energy has you alone, working your puzzle alone, trying to figure out what you are supposed to do. A new energy in the light starts to give you a sense of coherence with everything around you, the puzzle around you, the people around you, and you get feedback. And in the old energy, you are not even sure. You didn't know. You questioned. You weren't certain. In the new energy, I'll give you a hint. We talk to you. We talk to you in situations. We talk to you in so many ways. And those who are in the old energy and used to the old energy are still perplexed. You don't understand what we're saying. So I want to talk about timing. Each and every one of you in the room listening is part of a grand puzzle between human beings on this puzzle, on this earth. Now, light workers, meaning old souls, you have a more complex puzzle than most. For you are awakening and cognizing the fact that there is more light than there was before, and you, of all all human beings know how to use it. You've been working the puzzle of light and dark for eons. The earth has an, an, an expanding population. That should tell you, where are the new souls coming from? They're coming from a pool of souls that haven't been here. And so that leaves you, who have, to guide the ones that have not. And you're not going to give them a course. What you're going to give them instead is coherence. Love, compassion, understanding. But I want to talk about timing. You're unique. Each one of you, old souls, again, has a complete and separate path. What are you doing with your life right now. If you go around the room, if you sample who's listening, they'll all have 
a separate story. And so how can we give teaching instructions about how you're supposed to know if you're in the right place at the right time? Especially those of you who have a compelling feeling you're supposed to be doing something. So let's address that compelling feeling. It doesn't matter what the something is, dear ones. Because it leads you into balance. Or helping others. Or helping yourself. Or an exposition of the light that you carry. Almost all of you ask the question whether it's how to discipline your child or whether it's how to write a book. These are the issues that make the difference in life because you care, because you're asking spirit, because you're asking other light workers, because you sit in the room or listen to the channel. There are so many projects and puzzles and issues. Let's address the projects. In an old energy, I give you a metaphor. You got a ticket to ride the train. Now that's a metaphor for you being given a push to do something. Now we have said this many times, the push creates a habit. The habit is what you've had from all authority since time has begun. When your father tells you to clean up your room, when does he mean clean up your room? And so the knee-jerk reaction to the push from spirit to create something or do something which comes through intuition, the result is do it now. And so you push yourself. That is an old energy aspect and we have displayed it, expanded on it, and taught it for years. It's time for a new metaphor. You're given the ticket to the train. And then you're put in a box. <laughs> in an old energy, the box was this. I don't know if the train is here. When is the train coming? The train could be outside waiting for me. I'm going to miss the train. So I'm going to start right now. I'm going to be prepared. That push said I should do something. I've got the information. I know it's right. I've got to write the book. I've got to go over here. I've got to start the healing center. I've got to buy the land. I've got to talk to this person. Or something. I've got to connect. That's the train. And you're in the box. You have no idea. And so you push yourself. And the result is, you do it completely and totally out of timing. Come out of the box and you realize it didn't work. Then you start blaming yourself. You don't know where the train came and went. You missed the train. Of course, that's human nature. If the train isn't there, you missed it. <laughs> you never said, well, it hasn't come yet. <laughs> now let me expose the new energy. You get the ticket. And you're not put in a box. Because now the track is illuminated. And so you stand with the ticket and you wait for the train. Or do you? If the train is not on the track, that is a perfect signal in the daylight to say, it's not ready yet. You're not getting on a train that isn't there. Are you getting this? When the train arrives, you get on it. And you begin the project. You finish it. You work on it. If a train isn't on the track, it means it's not time yet. Even if you have scheduled a time for your own project when you think you can or when you should or whether it's convenient or whether it's efficient it doesn't matter if the train isn't there so in the new energy the operative word is see the track see that it's a signal to you you're getting feedback it's not ready 
You're not in the box worrying, wondering. You're right outside looking at the track. And if the train isn't there, that means be patient. Schedule another time. Wait a bit. Because it's coming. Look at you got the ticket. The ticket is the intuition you're supposed to do this. But now in this new energy, there is a beautiful thing to say to you that you're out of the box looking at the track. Don't pull the old paradigms into the light that says you don't know or it's not working or you're stuck. No, you're not. The train isn't there. Simple. And then you're going to say, well, when is it coming? You know, it's coming when the puzzle starts to be complete, when the things around you are moving so it's going to work. You don't want to start something that's going to fall on its face because others aren't ready or because the information is not complete. You don't want to start that. That's old energy things. You've all done that, dear ones, all of you. You've made it happen too soon. You've jumped the gun, as they say, because you were in the box. You didn't know. You got information and acted on it. That's what humans do. But suddenly an old soul with wisdom will get the intuition and go, I love this information. The train isn't here yet. Dear spirit, when the timing is right, show me. Dear spirit, when the train has arrived, make it clear to me. That is when I will perform. That's when I'll act. And that's when everything's going to come to me that should come to me. Instead of me pushing and pushing and worrying and saying, why am I stuck? Am I getting through? It's beautiful. The light is here to show when the train is coming. Rearrange your schedule. To coordinate with the messages that are being given to you so clearly. Don't interpret the messages incorrectly. See them for what they are. This is new. There is guidance here in the way things are working or not working for you. And if you push and they don't work, stop <laughs> and wait until the train arrives. There has never been a time like this where the clarity of your movement is being targeted to you in this way. But so many of you listening to this are not understanding it. And now is the opportunity for you to clear the boards, cognize what I am telling you, and accept this marvelous light from spirit that wants to guide you to the right place, take you out of the box, and make you understand that situations that you encounter are not situations that are accidental. <laughs> They're giving you a message. Go. Stop. Wait. Never before has it been so clear. But again, in the old energy, you just thought you were stuck. So I want you to proceed from this point on with this information. Spirit is connected to you by a beautiful silver thread all of you and this silver thread this metaphor can never be broken whether you choose to see and use the thread is your free choice but when you see it and you grab a hold of it that's when the communication starts and because it's connected to all of you that's when you start to get simultaneous messages collectively that pull you together in coherence to try to make things happen and will happen that haven't happened before on this planet when the coherence between humanity reaches even a marginal point there will be peace on earth for the coherence is the agreement of compassion between all humanity that you will never kill each other again by design. That is wisdom. And that comes from the light. Which is going to be yours.
I'm going to say this, do not misinterpret it. Two steps forward, one step back. You have only begun this process. So you may see things on the planet you don't understand. But know this, that this light which is coming out is going to shake up everything. And the planet is not as it used to be, will not necessarily react as it used to. But you've got to go through these gyrations in order to know what you want and what you don't. And there are not enough yet old souls on board to make it necessarily smooth. So why don't you come on board? If you're hearing this and understand that an awakening to the light is an awakening to a longer life. It's an awakening to less anxiety and more solutions. It's an awakening to the silver thread that connects you with all humanity and the creative source and always has. Look to the indigenous and the ancients for what they believed, what they know, and how they lived. For they honored their ancestors, which is another way of saying the wisdom that was learned before was applied to them. They honored the earth, which is to say they understood the connection between Gaia and humanity. They breathed the air that Gaia gave them and said thank you. And there was an alliance between them and all things that created something that lasted and lasted and lasted. Let this connection begin again with modern society. Let the light come out so that you will understand the signals from spirit to go, to come, to be. What if I told you that the ancients actually had those signals? And they saw them in the animals, in the sky, in the stars, and the planet. They planned on them. They believed in them. I'll tell you, the creative source gave them what they asked for. And that's how they guided their lives. You lost it completely. Now it's time not to do what they did in that way, but to trust your intuition, ask for the guidance, know when the train is there. A return to what the ancients practiced and knew that was in general what is available today. I hope some of you leave this room differently than you came. Those listening, perhaps, can breathe a sigh of relief that nothing is wrong in their lives. You've got a beautiful ticket, some of you. And this beautiful ticket, intuition, says you've got this talent. You can put this together. You can do these things. But not yet. There'll come a time. It's going to be so obvious. <laughs> you meet the right people, the right conditions show up. And you got to smile at that point and says, Dear Spirit, here's my ticket. <laughs> Believe it. Breathe easy. And you are known by God. And so it is.